In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build a 7 GPU GTX 1070 Ti mining rig. We used gaming motherboards because the mining motherboards were out of stock. So you can still build mining rigs with normal regular motherboards. They are going to be a little bit more expensive, but with the shortage of today's mining equipment and gaming equipment, you will have to use what you can use. Okay, so first of all, what can you expect from this video? We're going to show you how we did it from start to finish. So from building the frame all the way to running the miners. And I wanted to make some sort of video, this one right here, and to show you which steps you need to do. So first of all, you'll need to build a frame. That's pretty obviously, or you can buy your frame. It's always an option. You can always buy the frames from Veta. They're really good. I will review one of them really soon as well. But building your own frame is gonna save you some costs and whatsoever. So it's a really good thing to build your own frame at the first start. But if you're really going for simplicity or you're gonna build a really big farm, I would recommend buying pre-made frames because it took a really long time to build these frames. But I will link a video over here for people that really want to know the measurements of the frame. I will make more videos that are gonna show you more specific parts of the video. So I'm gonna just go over it really quickly. But if you want to know more about it, I will put the videos next to it. So you can check out that video and it's gonna explain you really in depth of what this step actually is. But if you're like, okay, I really get it already, uh, you don't have to watch that video because it's for more specific instructions and whatsoever. So as you've seen like 30 seconds ago already or a few minutes, we cutted all the aluminum pieces with a normal saw. It's really important to have enough teeth on the saw because otherwise it's gonna get some really bad and nasty chunks out of the aluminum and it might shatter in a million pieces. So make sure if you're gonna use aluminum that you're gonna do it safely and uh, on the way you should be. Also, we started filing it down because it was really sharp and uh, we didn't want anyone to cut his fingers on anything on this aluminum. And it's also more easy to slide in the pieces, the plastic pieces for connecting all the aluminum tubes together. So for the people that want to see the complete assembly of this mining rig frame that we've built to get kind of an idea of how it all works, here it goes. But for people that just bought the frame from VETA or whatsoever, well, you can skip ahead on the video.
Okay, so now that you know how the frame was built or you, you already have a frame from VEDA or anything else you've bought, you can continue on to the hardware installation part of the video. So for people that don't know how to install a CPU or a RAM on their motherboard, for example, I will make another in-depth video about it if you really want to. Also, how to install a riser or how to connect it. There's multiple kinds of risers. I will definitely make a video about that too, so people know how to do that as well. I will put all the images or the thumbnails of those videos on here, so you actually know what to click on or what to search for on buried1.com or on the YouTube channel itself. So there's many guides to be shown, like even setting up the motherboard. I'm also going to make that uh, video as well because most of the people don't actually know how to set a BIOS for a gaming motherboard to turn it into a mining motherboard because it will recognize only four GPUs at once instead of all seven or six that you're going to be using. So you need to be making sure that you're going to set your BIOS right on the motherboard. But let's continue on on the video and let's finish off this build. Okay, so as you can see, we only stuck seven GPUs onto this frame. There is still one slot left over for another GPU. It's really simple, you can buy this little thingy from Amazon or anywhere you can find it. And you can use this M2 slot to increase it to another PCIe slot on your motherboard. So this little pricey thingy will increase your PCIe slot up to eight. So that is the reason why we increased it on the frame to hold eight GPUs at once. But keep in mind, adding one extra GPU will also increase the usage of power on your system. So make sure you cover that as well when you're gonna upgrade onto more GPUs than you designed it for. Okay, so last but not least, there's another part that is going to split up onto different kinds of builds. If you, for example, build a 12 GPU AMD mining rig with Vegas or RX 570s, 580s, whatsoever you use on AMD graphics cards, you'll need to follow this video over here. And if you are going to install Nvidia graphics cards, eight or 10 of them, or even 12 of these, you will have to follow the Nvidia install video. If you see these videos pop up on this, vi on, on this video, this is videoception, pretty interesting. But if you see this video pop up and you think, hey, well, what is he doing? He's going so quickly. Well, I assume that you already installed your Windows operating system or Linux or anything else you used, but this is only for Windows that I'm gonna show you in these videos. We're gonna do some different kinds of videos as well for different kinds of operating systems because soon enough, we're gonna start building some farms really big farms and that's gonna get some custom operating systems because you cannot run 2000 windows computers on a single system you'll need to have some custom software for that so this is only to guide you for limited use let's say so this is only for for getting you five or ten mining rigs at your house and it's still manageable but if you go over 100 windows systems are gonna get a little bit, bit of a problem so that's the reason why we only cover these two for Windows. So like the basic miners like you guys are going to benefit out of that. But there's probably people sitting here and they're like, yep, he's totally right. You need to use different kinds of operating systems like Linux based systems to get running really big. And that is the reason why I actually did not really cover the installation part of the video. But after installing the drivers, setting the BIOS, 
to the right settings for being able to spot all seven graphics cards on this motherboard, we finally got the hash rate results out of this system. So here are the benchmarks of this mining rig. Okay, so hopefully you you understand what today's video was about. It's going to be the giant puzzle where all the little puzzle pieces can be found on different kinds of videos. But of course, today you're not going to be able to click on these videos or find them anywhere on the channel until I release them. So this is going to be for later use for people that are new to the channel and so on. So. As you can see, we're going to build even more mining rigs and the next one is going to be a GTX 1080 Ti 6 GPU mining rig. This one is quite expensive and we're going to see if it's actually worth it to buy such an expensive mining rig. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video today and make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one.